Hello everyone, it's Trisha here from Smith's Craft Creations. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another um, Global Monthly Video Hop. We are hopping because it is now the first Wednesday in June and we are all doing fancy fold cards. Now I'm coming to you with a very, very uh, simple, basic um, Z fold card. Really easy. Um, to create nothing extravagant so what we need to do is we need to put some beautiful beautiful designer series paper on each of the panels okay now this is um, four by six when it's um, closed off okay so what you do is you cut a piece of A4 down to 10 inches by six then you score it at four and you score it at eight and then um, you do a fold like so so it's like a Z fold card okay so let's um, add some paper I am using this um, beautiful elegant um, designer series paper however I do want to matte layer with some grey let me see what I have I think I'll matte layer with some smoky slate because I do know the sizes um, so it's easy enough to matte so we need two layers um, for the front that measure three and seven eighths by six, okay? Three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, sorry. So just a smidgen smaller. I do apologize, it looks like I'm needing to um, replace my blade. Right, let's do that again. So five and seven eighths. Lovely. This is um, one of the thicker weights, the grays. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's just the way they're made up. Okay. Um, the piece for the front we need to, to be uh, five and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay. And then our matte top uh, matte layer of the designer series paper is going to be an eighth of an inch smaller again. So, let me grab my glue. I hope everybody's well and thank you so much for um, popping on. I've got a really dusty desk with the paper fibres today. Um, so yeah, hope you're all enjoying this uh, glorious sunshine. We have certainly waited long enough. It's been a long, long time coming. Okay, so these two panels are four by six because that is the size of the closed card card when it is closed okay so lovely and then we've got this layer that goes on the front here just let me remove the little fluffy bits with my nails here we go right I think I've missed last month's um, video hope it's just been really hectic I don't know how you guys are finding being at home a lot. Um, I'm going to add another layer on here. I'm just finding it's um, not as much time as um, I thought I would. So let's do another one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. It's already that. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So let's glue this in be a nice thick card so just watch with your layers if you're wanting to send it as a standard size stamp okay uh, you may want to put some panels in the back if you want to um, write a message or anything okay so that is a card we're going to line that 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 and that okay and I've decided to use this beautiful um printed designer series paper out of the annual catalogue it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's got copper in here and it's got silver. Um, it is slightly directional. So I am going to cut it this way. So if you remember, those little sections were three and seven eighths. So I want these to be three and three quarters by, I need two, uh, five and three quarters and five and three quarters. Okay, so there's two layers there. This needs to be one and three quarters. 
So just make sure it's lining up fine. One and three quarters, follow the line. There we go. One and three quarters by five and three quarters. We need two of those also. And it's just going to be a really, really, really pretty card. Okay. Easy peasy. So this is part of the Elegantly Said Suite and it's just absolutely gorgeous. There's a lovely this gold and silver trim that you can get in with this bundle as well. It works really well with um, our vellum sheets too. Lots of fancy patterns but also lots of nice prints on the B side also. Wonderful! And you can see how beautiful it's starting to look. Please do remember to visit all the other um, wonderful Stampin' Up! demonstrators that are taking part. It's such a wonderful community to be a part of. I absolutely love it. I met so many people, both in person and virtually, um, that I wouldn't have met if it wasn't for Stampin' Up! So I'm really grateful for that. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks almost like a Japanese um, uh, oh, screen, a Japanese screen or something. It's quite nice. Right, so what I want to do is I just want to pop a little um, layer on here. Now I want a two and a quarter inch circle. Then I would like, unfortunately these are um, retired, then I would like, let me see, where's my other circle? I think I will use this on the top. In fact, let me see what other, what other papers I have here. So let's see if I could use any of these as a contrast. It's just absolutely stunning. I do know that I want to use the vellum and I want to stamp in black on the vellum. Um, oh my goodness, it seems so long since I actually used black. Uh, where is my black ink, she says. I have my new one here. That's my stays on. Hang on, hang on. My goodness, surely it's not been that long. And I think it has. Where is my black ink? Oh, here we are. <laughs> it's right here, Trisha. It's right here. Um, if you've not got time to wait on the ink drying, you could use your stays on. Just be careful you don't smudge it as you're popping it down there. Right, now what I want to do is I want to do... I think what I'll do is I will go for... All the things you do are simply amazing. So let's do that. Okay, so let me get a smaller block. Okay. okay, and I'm just going to press and hold for a wee second. Very carefully lift that up. Now I do have two freshly washed um, Simply Chamois here. And they smell lush. I use my special fabric conditioner in with them to give them a little rinse. So yummy, yummy. Right, so let's pop that back. Right, so all I need to decide now, that could go directly on there or we could slide um, a contrasting paper behind it. Let me see. Not that one, I don't think. I don't want something too bold. I just want to make sure that you are able to read it. Ah, I think I may need to just stick with the um, grey. Right, so what I need to do is I need my two inch punch. Again, apologies for using a retired punch. And then I do have my one in um, three quarter somewhere. I think I've got it somewhere. Here it is. I do apologise. There's going to be a bit of a clatter in a wallop now. Okay. So I just want to pop this out. Like so. Just be very careful. 
you could um, dry this off with your um, heat tool if you have the time. Okay, so let's pop this together. So I just really want to pop something on here so when I open it up, it goes like so. Okay, so really simple today, nothing out of the ordinary. I think that looks amazing. Love it. Right, now, what I do need, though, is I need some um, stamp and seal. And I need some ribbon. And the ribbon trim I'm going to use is um, Simply Elegant Trim. This is the one that you get in the seat. Not the gold, sorry. I want the silver. Okay, so what I want to do... I want to pop that on there. I want to add some trim on here. Okay, so let's do this. Just be very careful because sometimes, because of the black cardstock, sometimes that can lift up. Right, so. So all I want really is some trim like so. Just want to over to the edge. Let me cut this off. Pop this back, and it's just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of contrast. I like it, very nice. Right, so tiny little dot under the words there. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. It does dry clear if you do a little bit. Um, well, my phone is running out of space, so I'll just ignore that message. I'm almost finished anyway. I'm going to prop this up with some dimensionals, okay? So really super, super easy. And it's just a lovely card to give to a friend. You could use whatever labelling that you want. You can die cut out pretty labels. Um, it would look really pretty um, with a butterfly opening as well. That would look gorgeous. There's just so much you can do. But for today, I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. Right, now, what I am going to do, I'm going to put my tearing tape directly onto my card because with it being um, speciality paper, I want to make sure this sticks proper. Okay. So, let me get my little pin. Do you like the little pin that I made? Little glue stopper there. Very pretty. And that is our little fancy fold card. And uh, like I, can, I said, you can actually put cardstock on the back and write a little message. Um, but for today, I'm just going to keep it really simple, and it's a really simple Z4 card. You could also do it like this, to open like so. It's entirely up to you. But sometimes, simple is best. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check us out in our next video, and um, stay safe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now.